Scorpios. It's LA in the house doing your reading. I want to tell y'all, this might not resonate for everybody, but this is for the month of July 2020 concerning my Scorpios. Uh, what's going on with you, what the angels did let me know. And just remember, this is not for no designated person. This is for more for everybody in the world. So don't resonate with you. I'm sorry. But there's other ones that probably resonate with you if this one don't resonate. But anyway, I'm trying and uh, this is an all around reading. So here we go. Okay. First, we're going to have the, it's the three of the three of cups. Resolution of problems, conclusion, solid Salads, healing, satisfactory results, fulfillment, compromise, friendship among women, women, exploration and arts. In other words, it's going to be, uh, Scorpio going to have some uh, moments where women are going to stick to uh, compromising um, and getting friendship with more women out there that want to be your friend that you might connect with. Okay, this says rest and gymnate. This card implies that a period of rest and meditation and rejuvenation is necessary because in order, it's usually come forward when you're encountering coming out of a particular emotional or mentally taxing experience. The number four is a median, meaning foundation. So this time to heal, to be with your soul and continue moving steady forward, allowing space just for reflection is both needed and long overdue, okay? Uh, what we got here? Uh, hold on a second. Okay. Okay, now. This is the wheel of fortune, but it was upside down. Failure, ill luck, broken secrets, unexpected bad fate, outside influence, not com contemplated. Wait and then try again. In other words, there will be some ill temper purple people and bad luck. So you need to wait and try whatever you're trying again later, another day. Okay, position and movement forward. This is you, a true person, for you have the craft, skill, knowledge, give, and talent to, to assist you even more advice in the, in the position direction. The number eight always notes popularity and abundance. But in this case, it's your effort that has been gotten you to this point. Good for you. This card often comes forth to honor and recognize individuals who are in the field of arts, design, music, and education. When you follow and build on your own passions, the soul can truly express itself and can then assist you to move closer towards your highest good. Okay. Just a minute. Uh... Okay, one more. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. The next card is the Four of Cups, and it's upside down. New possibilities, new relationships, new approaches to old problems, new acquaintances, new knowledge. In other words, you're going to meet new people, and that's going to get you going. Then we have Deception and Envy. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This card comes at a time when individual or conditions aren't what they appear to be. How well do you really know the person around you? Are they telling you everything you need to know in business? But make sure you gather all necessary information so that you're aware of and understand oils and the facts before considering you you've worked hard. Don't let others take what from what is rightly yours. Unfortunately, some people may be envious of your accomplishments. So don't let them take what you got. Come on now, 
Scorpio, stand up for yourself. Ain't nobody got to take your stuff. Just tell them it ain't going to happen here. It just ain't going to happen. You need to move your day. Move around. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. Now, here we go. The next card is the six of coins. Generosity, kindness, gifts, material gain, sharing of wealth, but with measured generosity. Favorite, especially monetary. In other words, you need to favor to help each other and um, your generosity, you're going to be wanting to be kind and help other people that's homeless or out on the street or somebody that needs help. You're going to be willing to help. Okay. This is the waiting game. This card indicates that you've been worked hard to, to set things in motion in certain areas of your life, and you're now waiting for the results to come to fraction. The number two is all about choice and decision. In the past, you may have been afraid of making decisions or choices, but now you're no longer held prisoner by this fear or concentrate of old... Of old what? Old beliefs. Expect the best and open to the limit power of intuition, which is provincially very strong. Trust and use it to assist you. Use your instincts. Sagittarius is telling you you need to get your, your instincts on the grow or do what you got to do. Listen to it. And that's a lot of problems. We do not listen to our instincts we be told things and we just walk over them. You know, some people don't listen to the instincts and then they find out, oh, I should listen. That's how it goes in the streets. Okay, here we go, Scorpios. This is justice, fairness, reasonable justice, proper balance, harmony, just reward, secure desire, good intentions, well-meaning actions, self-satisfaction advice. Headache and lost. The meaning of this card is can be re revolved around disappointment, sorrow, and separation, which can be called cause upheavals and distress. It's ta it takes all the strength you have at the moment in order to move past the pain and heal and heal your heart. The love that has been given to another should now be forced on you. Although you might look at this card as being negative, it can act and can act as encouraging you to move on. The painful experience of life are just avoidable of jealousy ones. You may not you may not appreciate that sentiment at this challenge time, but life does have a way of pushing you forward, even though you may not always know the final destination. That is so true. You'd be like, oh, I know where I'm going, and you don't know where you're going. It led you into a whole different part, place. Okay, here we go. Now, okay, now we're at, this card is nine of coins, but it was upside down. It says, treat safety, robbery, storm, bad faith, possible loss of value, friendship, or treasured possessions. In other words, somebody, you could probably in next month talk about robbery, storms, bad faith, possible off value friendship. In other words, be careful on the thing because there's a lot of things going on out in these streets that could possibly happen to in your home or it's threats of your safety and robbing in storms and bad faith, possible loss of value friendship or treasured possessions. But like I said, you can't take it with you. But anyway, spiritual union. This card deals with relationship involving an emotional bond it could be between new lover, kindred soul, family member, friend, business associate, or partner. It could even relate to project or a specific situation. This would perfect timing to realize that all relations are really about you. Notice when you interact with different people in your life, are they giving you energy or taking it away? That's what you need to add yourself. That sums up, I don't even have to put it no better than that, is they 
giving you energy or they taking it from you because some people is just too toxic and it takes all your energy to just stay in that position. Okay. The Sun card. This is satisfaction, accomplishments, faithful social relationship, love, joy, devotion, engagement, happy marriages, pleasure, into daily existence, and security. In other words, there could be some uh, people, relationships, going to be love, joy, relationships, social, favorable social relationships, um, engagements going to be going on next. Scorpios, um, you might begin to get, you never know. Okay, and the love begins. Your, your cup is about to overflow with joy, happiness, and a positive feeling. This is the first of an emotional card, and therefore it signifies a new love opportunity back on. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a physical love. But could also represent the passion and devotion for an idea, goal, or even a new creative endeavor. In other words, it don't have to be love. It could be endeavor. Um, you're going to prosper in whatever you decide to do. Um, just a minute, y'all. Uh, Okay, bitch, let's do 41, 49. Okay, um, here we go. The next card is the Page of Wands, and it's upright. It says, faithful and loyal person as an MB, trusted friend, a stranger with good intentions, a constant person, a bearer of important news. Somebody going to come with you and might got some news for you. Don't know what the news is, but somebody's going to come next month with some news for you. Okay, next card, spiritual strength. This card is coming forth to give you encouragement and remind you that you have the inner strength to complete whatever you've been working on. The final spirit card represents courage, discipline, stability, and persistence. You may be tired or wavy from the struggle, but now is not the time to give in. Instead, tap into all your inner resources for that one final push to achieve the desired outcome you want, okay? Now, we're going to go over here to our spiritual cards. Um, okay, the first one, like, okay, 46. Okay, 46. Okay, first angel says, let it go. This card came out. It says, let go. The time has come to let go of this situation. Stop focusing on how or when it will be solved or even why it occurred. Relationships that are unhappy or fulfilled should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry, source. Your angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desire is to ask for what you want and then release it, to, it in the heavens. If you're drawing this card, you may be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish, make a wish and then leave the rest to the, your angels. In other words, make a wish to what you want and leave the rest to your good angels. Cause they will, they'll help you, but you got to ask for assistance. They don't just come in and, um, just getting your problems, which I like that because they let you get a chance to fix it yourself before they step in. Okay, now here we go. Next card the angels got, it says communicate clearly. This is what requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume the others involved understand what you need and what you're saying. In-person discussions are preferable, but if that cannot happen, Possibly make sure that your communicating method is very thorough. You need to communicate better with the people that you're with, your, uh, the people you hang with, your special love or your husband. Scorpio, you need to uh, communicate clearly with them so you won't feel like they're not uh, being clear with their words. Because some people, they clear, but we not getting it, you know? Okay, next card, it says, helpful people. This card indicates that 
It's time to expand your circle of friends, or you may find yourself needing to do some professional networking. Make time to branch out in order to create the personal or the career connection necessary to be happy and successful. Okay, and then it also says this card also indicates that your situation requires an input of those who can assist you and accomplish the task before you. This may include professional in the field related to in your question or others who work around you. It could also include people in your personal life who have experienced that will be useful. This card lets you know that someone will be entering your life soon who can help make your dreams come true. Okay. Now that sums it up, my Scorpios. And um, if you don't mind, push that down. And um, y'all can talk to me again on another day or I'll put something else and you'll be able to reach me. But you have to push that subscribe button. And I want to tell y'all, thank you for listening. And y'all have the blessed day or the evening, the night, whatever it is. Bless y'all. From L.A. Bye.